Hey guys, it's uh, Dave Dean. It's been a while. Uh, I've been busy doing stuff with uh, my online business and pretty much uh, uh, doing a little bit of traveling here and there. Um, so didn't really do much with the car audio stuff. Uh, uh, like I was saying, I think in one of the videos I was going to get my mids installed and whatnot. Uh, but it's looking like I'm probably not going to do that till probably the uh, probably in August, more than likely in August, because I'm uh, uh, about to go on a trip uh, pretty quick here. Once we get our uh, second shot done, I think uh, July the 2nd, coming up next week, um, then we're going to be going on uh, a trip because we've been waiting for that for a while now, probably like a lot of people. Um, so, yeah, so I've uh, just been uh, doing some stuff locally uh, uh, around Banff and Jasper, different uh, parks and stuff like out here. But, uh, uh, yeah, we plan on going on, on to a, a trip um, uh, probably, yeah, no, probably in August or whatever. So I'm probably not going to get my, uh, mids installed until probably the end of August, more than likely. Cause I'm going to be busy doing lots, like I said, lots of traveling and stuff like that. Take advantage of, uh, the, the sunny weather and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so I've, uh, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, a lot of people had like comments and stuff like that. I try to get back to like everybody's comments and the reason, uh, you know, the reason I even put some of these videos up is just because there was nothing out there, really. There wasn't much out there, uh, especially when it came to, like, uh, uh, the, the DAP players and stuff like that for your car. Of course, there's lots of videos on DAPs um, in general out there, but that was more for uh, uh, headphone use and whatnot, right? So uh, I kind of wanted to put some stuff up there for the car, but just because it's such, to me, it's the best, like, when you're talking head units, I think it's the best there is, right? Um when it comes for sound quality and pretty much everything, there's nothing that even beats it out there to tell you the truth. Uh, once you start with like a mid-level player and you go up to like a really high end, like you go into like the Astro and Kern SP2000 or something, there's nothing that even touches that on the market. Um, Sony, the Sony head unit is probably like the closest, uh, the GS9 is probably the closest thing to it, but it gets destroyed by the Astro and Kern as well. Um, so there's not, there's nothing really, there was no videos or anything out there talking about, you know, some people even asked me like the coaxial cord I used and stuff like that, which was the audio quest cord and stuff like that. Uh, there was just nothing out there. Right. Um, so that's the reason, cause I had people, you know, uh, uh, there was a couple of guys there. One guy was kind of being a, a real, uh, a-hole <laughs> and he was talking to somebody else. He wasn't even talking to me. He was talking to somebody else in the chat on one of my videos when we're talking about, um, uh, sound quality and whatnot. Uh, uh, so I kind of like stepped in, I eventually just blocked the guy because there's, there's just guys out there that they don't even want to contribute or anything. Basically what they do is they just come on your videos and they're just trying to get a response from you. And the guy didn't have a clue on what he was talking about. I can't remember some of the things he said, but I just ended up blocking the guy. Cause it's just like, you know, if you're not helping somebody, if you're not helping somebody else, like why even make the comments? I understand everybody's got their opinion on what's the best. And, and whatnot but I mean in reality at the end of the day whatever you buy you want to be happy with anyways right uh, so when people come on to your videos like they come on to my videos and they're kind of asking because they're doing something similar to their vehicle I kind of give you like I've, I've had a lot of a, a, a experience with car audio stuff I used to in, install it back in the day when it was really easy to install stuff I used to do a lot of my own installations back then on some of the stuff not everything um, because it was easier back then, right? Um, it was so simple to put a deck in your car back then. Now it's everything's you need, you need, you know, like uh, uh, aftermarket, like the Amp Pros and uh, all those types of things when you're uh, integrating to any of the new vehicles, right? Um, but it, it, I'm just, I'm just there to like, you know, help somebody else. Maybe somebody else has got a Jeep out there. I mean, maybe somebody else has got like, I mean, basically the Amp Pros and uh, um, some of the other. Uh, things like the amp pro like the dsr1 and and all that kind of stuff um there's a lot of stuff out there that connects with your vehicle these days and a lot of people just don't know about it sure the people that have been in car audio for like a long time do um but some some people are just new to this right and they're just coming and they they happen to like land on a video of mine or somebody else's and you just kind of put the information out there so they know what they can do right what their budget is what what how much certain things cost and whatnot which is going to be different depending on uh, uh where you're at around the world right but um 
it's like to me when I the same thing I was doing. I researched everything. I went on the forums. I watched like people's all the people's uh, YouTube videos. Right. I was on following everybody for like a long time there uh, until I determined what I was going to get with my system with the budget that I had. Right. Um, and what was available at the time too, because there was a lot of stuff uh, that I might have got. Like instead of getting the Moscone, the AS amplifiers, which I love, they're they're amazing amplifiers. Um, I was going to go with the Zero Line, right? But they didn't have in stock at the time that I was going to do my install. So I was just like, I'm not going to wait another month and and a half or whatever, or however long it was going to get to the to to, to get the specific uh, the Zero Four is mainly the one of the amps that I was looking for, right? to run my uh, uh, front stage and uh, a zero, I think it was a zero two as well. Maybe not a zero two, I can't remember now, but it was a zero four for sure. Uh, it's just a four channel amp, but that was gonna run my mid bases and my tweeters at the time. Um, but I didn't feel like waiting at that time, right? And I've talked to a few other guys. Yes, the, yes, the zero line is gonna give you a little bit better, like sound quality and whatnot, right? A little, little bit of performance uh, increase. Uh, for wattage wise, um, out of it, I'm pretty much getting the same because I have the AS200 running in my mids right now, uh, which is going to be like, you know, close to uh, what the Zero Four was going to be. Um, but I was also like I told other people like uh, the oh yeah that's what they're doing. They're the guy was debating class A B over class D, and how Richard Clark has you know if you go try his his uh, uh, test that he has, he pays somebody $10,000 or whatever, if you can pass the test and, and all this stuff. And, and it, I said, you got to remember, um, it depends on what class AB amp you're putting up against the class D amp, right? If you go put a crappy little, um, you know, something that you go buy at Canadian Tire or whatever, like the cheapest amp you can find, uh, even if, I don't even know if they have a class AB at Canadian Tire, but I'm just throwing it out there right if you go buy one of the cheap amps like that compared to if you buy like a Moscone AB or if you buy um you know like uh geez name name a brand out there right and pick one of their higher end uh amplifiers right you know and uh the class D you're gonna I I don't know about you guys but I can hear a difference because I've had class D amplifiers I've had decent class D amplifiers before um you know what I mean? And I can hear a difference between an A, B and a D on the front states, right? Uh, when it comes to like the subwoofers, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to come out there and jump out there and say, yeah, I can hear a difference or whatever. But with the front stage, I've heard the difference, right? <clears throat> so this guy goes, oh, you two guys don't know what you're talking about. But it's like, I know what I'm talking about because I'm like 50. <laughs> and I was in around the car audio scene and competing back when I was younger. So I know all about the car I owe. Do I know everything? No. Uh, am I a professional installer? No. Um, but I, I mean, I've read and researched pretty much everything you can read and research when it comes to car audio, right? And uh, I've, tr and the important thing is I've tried a lot of the products, right? And your ears are going to tell you, right? If something's good or something's bad. And back then, um, they had forms of DSP, but it's nothing like it was today, right? So it's it's not like if you got somebody that knows how to tune a vehicle properly with a DSP, like how good it can sound now compared to what you did before with like, you know, for me, like the rain, you see the rain EQs and the, uh, the audio control, uh, you know, the, the analog EQs and stuff like that back then, right? Um, so it's different, it, it's just different. <clears throat> but I've tried a lot of different products out over the years and, you know, like I said, when people ask me what I recommend, I, re I recommend that still the Audio Frog speakers, um, even the GS series are like a good speaker, right? If you're just looking for like a mid mid level speaker, they're great speakers. But the one of the reasons why I do recommend them, especially if you're if you're trying to get into high end, sure these things are still expensive, right? For if you're just looking for like if you're looking for the mid, the tweet, and uh, uh, and and the woofer, like a three-way system. You're, yeah, you're looking like over a little bit over 2000, right? Uh, which is still expensive for a lot of people. Um, but it's not as, not as expensive if I go buy, you know, the Dino Esotar, like 650s uh, and the tweeters and whatnot, and I go do a three-way system with them, right? Then you're looking at like, 
six grand or something like that. Or if I go with the Morels, uh, Supremos or whatever, you know what I mean? Then you're looking at, you know, even more money than that. Or if I'm looking for like the Brack stuff or, you know, uh, any of the Focal Utopias, right? You're Then you're looking at, you know, triple, quadruple of the price, right? Um, so you have to look at what, you know, what, you know, like these speakers, they basically sound, a drum sounds like a drum, right? A guitar, guitar sounds like a guitar, right? Uh, some speakers out there, they kind of, um, they kind of mess with that. And I kind of, that's why I like the audio frogs because this, what the sound that comes out of them sounds what the actual instruments sound like. Uh, that might be, you know, you guys out there might understand what I'm saying, but, uh, um, it's got a, like a neutral kind of flat response, uh, to it. To, it, it that, that's what I get out of them anyways. Right. Um, so I always recommend them because I mean, if you're going to jump up from that price point, you're jumping up big time, right? With a lot of speakers out there. Um, so it's kind of like in its own price range, I would say. There's not a lot of stuff that for that price. There's, I don't think there's anything that even competes with these things at that price level. Um, and that's why I think you get really good value uh, out of them. And I'm not even, the customer service and everything is excellent too. But I'm just talking about the value of the speaker and how good it sounds, right? Um, are there better speakers out there? Well, yeah, there's probably better speakers out there. Like um, the Full Cal Utopias are, are really detailed, but the mid bass isn't going to be the same. You know what I mean? There's going to be trade offs no matter no matter what you pick out there. Um, you know, unless you got the best guy with the best products that's installing your vehicle, and you're and you're going crazy and you're spending fifty, sixty, seventy grand or whatever on a vehicle. Then yeah, yeah, but I mean, not too many people go get, go that crazy. Not even too many people go to the level where I went, right? Um, a lot of people they'll just throw in a subwoofer and they're good, right, with their stock system uh, nowadays. So, but anyways, I figured I'd do uh, another video, um, kind of updating stuff. I kind of changed my channel name, and uh, I kind of want to like really start getting into like more car audio stuff and like testing. Uh, different things and stuff like that but I, I don't know right I just I just like I said when I did this channel it was just to throw out some information uh, for some of the people that were using like you know the like for daps and stuff or somebody that was interested in using a dap um, and I was just going to show them basically what I did right uh, uh, since I kind of got into it again right um, but uh, uh, I thought of it but I for me like right now I'm focusing on my on online business quite a bit not that the online business takes a lot of a lot of my time it really doesn't I probably spend about a half an hour a day uh doing it um but I'm trying to get to that next level in my business where I'm making like 30 40 50 grand a month um because then I can really go into like the car audio stuff because I find it fun right and I've seen other people doing videos you know on subwoofers and different things like that and I got like you know perfect vehicle to uh test out a lot of that stuff right um I just have to get a get a really good box built and then I can, you know, maybe a couple boxes and stuff like that, uh, you know, like a really good sealed box and then a really good uh, ported box. So obviously, if I'm testing different subwoofers and, uh, and different things like that, then I'd have to make multiple boxes. But, you know, if I'm making, you know, 30, 40, 50 grand a month in my online business, then that's easy to do, right? I can easily test all kinds of stuff, right? Because it's expensive when you're doing that. A lot of guys, uh, they're already in a uh, they already have their own shops or whatever. And they already have like their line of products that they already have. So it's easy for them to like test a lot of stuff. Whereas if you're just a solo person out there, um, like myself, I don't have access to any of that kind of stuff. Right. So I'd be like buying the products, but that's something that I would like to do just for fun anyways. Right. Cause, uh, I've always been into like car audio, uh, most of my life. There's a period there. I still liked it, but I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't like really into it, into it. Um, well, that's something I've considered doing. And, uh, um, and honestly, it's just like, it's like the information and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff out there that gives you bad information, right? And there's a lot of people that give you bad information when it comes to things. And, uh, uh, you know, that co that's costly, right? That's the way I look at it. Like you, you go onto somebody's video or somebody's in the comments or whatever, and they give you bad comments and then you go out and you follow their advice or whatever. And then you end up having like a, a crappier system than what you could have. Um, and I see it all the time with people and stuff like that. 
um, in the comment sections on other people's videos and stuff. And this person went out there because he's he's saying this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And then the guy goes buys it and and it, and it doesn't fit for him, right? Because it's like it depends on your vehicle too, right? It's not just all about the car stereo uh, products and whatnot. It's like the, like I said all the time, it's like the install, right? And if you have a DSP, it's like who's tuning that DSP and um, and it comes down to your vehicle too. Like, what are you, what are you looking for, right? Um, and uh, uh, yeah, just like that 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 guy that came in and he was like talking about the Richard Clark thing. How you're never going to notice the difference between class D and class A B. It's like that's just a random statement that really doesn't make any sense to me. Like, because you have to say well, what what are you testing? What gear are you testing? Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, anyways, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go on to that. The guy can think what he wants or whatever, right? I know for myself, and you, and all you guys know, on yourself. Like if you've if you've heard them before, you know, you'll know yourself whether you can hear the difference or not, right? I mean, I can hear the difference between, <laughs> like, easily hear the difference between when I go on my DAP and I go on my Apple CarPlay. Night and day difference. The 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 even in the bass, the bass is like night and day difference. It doesn't even sound like the same subwoofers when I switch between this and uh my apple carplay this sounds like so much better on and on every it's like it fills up my car more um the subwoofers than it does in here that's the easiest way to explain it um it's like a tighter base it's fuller um it's just a higher end quality anybody anybody especially if you've had high-end home systems and maybe you started off as like a lower end system, then you go to like a mid system and a higher end system. You can it's night and day when you go up, right? Uh, and it's the same thing with this. When you're when you're going into something that's higher end, it's gonna sound better. That's just this how if all things are equal, if you have everything tuned the same and whatnot, and you're stepping up to something that's higher end, it's gonna sound better. That's that's just the way it is. And I'm not talking you spend more money gives you higher end. Most of the time it does, but not all the time, right? I'm just talking about higher end with the stats, right? With the, you know, the signal to noise ratio, uh, the channel separation, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, it's going to give you better sound quality. And you can hear it if you sit down here. There's a reason why I went and did Tidal. I got Tidal, Spotify, uh, Amazon HD, right? iTunes. I, there's a reason why I tested all that stuff. Um, and on some, on some songs, you can't hear the difference. And even on some songs on iTunes, the iTunes song just sounds better right i know the recording levels are different on some of them um but sometimes that they sound better and then but most of the time like i said most of the time title sounds better but it's the recording and i'm not going to get into the recording and all that stuff because i kind of did a video that was kind of uh based on that kind of stuff before but uh um and this is everything i say is just my own opinion from like the experience i had um and like i said i had a lot of experience with a lot of like the Almost every brand you can name when in my younger days, I used and I tried out, right? And usually I'd buy all of that person's, like if it was amps, I'd stick with stick with the same thing. Sometimes I'd change things up, but usually I stuck with the same brand uh, all the time when I was switching my amplifiers out. And then I'd use like various head units from like back then, Clarion had a high-end unit, um, Eclipse had a high-end unit, um, Nakamishi, Alpine, um, like, and then Kenwood started to getting into the game a little bit later on. So I tried like all the top high end head units and stuff like that. And every time you change something, like I said, it makes the sound quality sound a little bit different. It's got its own sound signature, no matter what you change. Right. Um, and like I said, I, if I had to do any, any system and price was no limit, I'd get an Astalon Kern right now, SB 2000, right? That would be my main source. Right. Um, there's five grand gone right there <laughs> so but i'm just saying if price is no limit like like i said if my online business uh kicks it into the you know second third fourth gear um i'm already making pretty good money now i'm already making like well over 10 grand a month now but if it get kicks into like i'm making 30 40 50 grand a month uh like my coach makes 100 and what does she make now probably between 100 and 200 thousand every month um she's one of the top people in the business though right um but she's only been doing the business three and a half years, right? And I'm I'm just coming up on the three year mark now, um, and it's and it's a global business and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm not going to get in get into that stuff because I kind of keep things separate, keep my hobbies separate from what I do for business and whatnot. But uh, um, but yeah, so 
I don't, like I said, I don't work or anything. So I, you think I have a lot of time to do stuff, but I'm usually out in a boat of doing a video for my business or uh, traveling somewhere, just like, you know, trying to enjoy life. Obviously you can't, couldn't travel too far in the last like, you know, 14, 15 months because they had too many restrictions going on. Um, but that'll be coming into, to an end anyways, right? And like, like I said, once we get our shots, uh, uh, then we can get out and start going to different place, right? Because uh, I know we're probably going to go back. Uh, my spouse is Filipino, so we're probably going to go back to the Philippines uh, in October. But then we're going to go to a bunch of other places before that. Uh, the nice, nice thing about having an online business is you run ads on social media and you do whatever you want <laughs> throughout your days, right? So like I'm out here, I was just driving around listening to some music today. And uh, figured I'd pop on. And I haven't did a video in such a long time that I'd pop on and just kind of... Because, uh, you know, I didn't... I Like I said, I didn't plan on doing this, like, uh, full-time or whatever, where I'm putting out videos, like, nonstop all the time. Um, because you have to have content for that, right? You got you to gotta have, like, uh, you know, either testing your amps or you're testing, like, new subwoofers or uh, new speakers and stuff like that. And that's something that I wouldn't mind getting into down the road because it's just fun. I Like, like I said, it's kind of fun... Uh, toying around with like car audio stuff and whatnot and uh, um, changing things out and stuff like that and then just giving your uh, kind of review and your perspective on things and that's like I said that's probably something that I'll do uh, down the road um, at some point in time and uh, and it's good like the car audio I know that the, it's not huge out there you know um, it's not a massive scene or anything like that but they're pretty loyal a lot of the car audio guys that are out there um, usually you see him commenting on different other channels and stuff like that uh, when it comes to that kind of stuff. More people, I just encourage more people to do more videos on your on your own vehicles and stuff like that, right? Because um, it helps, like I said, it, it helps the new people coming into car audio. Um, gives them a lot more information to work with and stuff like that. So if you know you do, do a video, uh, uh, break down your videos or whatever and uh, tell people what you used in your vehicle. It's, uh, it helps a lot, of new, a lot of the new people that come out. And, uh, you know, cause I, I love audio. I love car audio. I love home audio. Um, but I, I enjoy car audio more is just basically cause you can, you know, go and travel, you go on holidays or whatever. If you're driving for me, I love to drive. I'm not necessarily a guy that likes to fly somewhere. I actually like to drive, even if I'm, I'm I live in Canada and I like to go, you know, go to the States or whatever. And, you know, the last trip I did, um, was like to Mount Rushmore. Right. And, and I went all through the Northern States and stuff like that. I love to en enjoy the country and the changing uh, environments and stuff like that that you're going into. So I'm a kind of like, I like to drive and when I, and I drive, I love listening to music. So that's one of the main reasons why I like having a good system in my vehicle is, uh, you know, it creates memories, right? You hear a different song and you remember, oh, that's the time where, you know, I went to Mount Rushmore, I went and did this or I went and did that. So, um, so I know there's lots of other people out there like that as well. So, I mean, just, you know, everybody, you don't have to do a video. Like I'm not even showing myself in my other videos. I show myself I'm just, I'm a 50 year old guy, like pretty average guy, like everybody else. Right. But I mean, a lot of the time I'm just, uh, I got my car like this. Cause usually I'm, I'm playing songs or whatever, um, on, on the vehicle or, or during the video, I should say. And, and I had a few comments before it was like, uh, when I was talking about my whole system and stuff like that. And he's like, why don't you play the demo? <laughs> I'm like, I already have a bunch of videos with some demo songs if you want to hear it, right? They're on there. And even some of the ones where I'm talking and I play some of the songs or whatever, right? Um, and like I said, you're not going to get the quality. Like what I hear here uh, when I'm sitting in the driver's seat is nothing like my YouTube video. You know what I mean? You, you, it just ain't the same. Uh, even if I had the best recording software there is and the best mic and the best camera and the best everything else, you're still not going to get the experience of sitting in that person's vehicle and listening to it. It's, it's like night and day difference, it's, you know, and you can't even tell. I've had people say, well, this video, the guy, uh, he used um, the Pioneer PRS 99 and it sounds way better than your vehicle, than your videos that you do. <laughs> like when I was telling him about the daps better, I was like, first of all, I had the Pioneer PRS 99 before in the past and it's a great head unit it was one of the best for like years and years and years one of the best for there is right out there um but it doesn't beat a dap it ain't gonna beat it it's just it ain't <laughs> if I if I had a pioneer 
uh, PRS uh, 99 in my system right now, and I swap this out and I put this going to coaxial digital and into the back, this is going to sound better still. It, it is. Even if I went analog with this thing, this thing has b like better specs than that. Is it, you, you know, that it's going to be a little bit different because the sound signature is going to be a little bit different. But this still has higher specs. You got to make te technology advances, right? Not everything that comes out that's new is better than the past, right? That's not how it is. A lot of the time, some of the stuff in the past was better than uh, some of the stuff that comes out now, right? But it's a nostalgia thing, right? It's like you remember the good feelings or whatever that a certain app or whatever uh, made you feel like back then, and then you just haven't experienced that with anything in the newer stuff or whatever, right? So it's like uh, you think it sounds better back then, but it's not necessarily the case, right? Um, but yeah, like if you put in like the Astle and Kern an SB1000, 2000, that's going to blow away any head unit on the market right now. Like going analog, right? And using the DAC inside, it's, it's going to blow away everything. This, there's no debate on that. It, it just is. Um, if you're going digital, well, then you're just using whatever you have as a transport anyways, right? So it's going to be the DAC in your DSP if you have one um, that's going to be the sound signature of your vehicle, right? Um, so that's it. I just wanted to pop on here. Uh, do another video and just say like I, I still have I'm still going to do the mids at some point in time um, and I got to try to get a hold of uh, a couple other things that I got to got to do when I actually do that at the same time got to like actual install this thing so you can't see it <laughs> coming out of here right I got to put that in there too and I just waited it's, it's not a big deal anyways right I just tuck it under the middle seat right now and it just goes back underneath the other seat, so it's not uh, the end of the world. But um, but yeah, so uh, and I, you know what? And I did I did do the DSP. Like I was telling you guys, I was going to do the DSP, the Helix video and whatnot. And for whatever reason, once again, it was like the one other video I tried to do. When I went to upload it, it just wasn't uploading, and I don't know what was going on or whatever at the time. But I was like, you know what? Because I spent like like two hours basically shooting the thing right on my laptop and I made it so it's uh um it was recorded onto the laptop and for whatever reason I have no idea why YouTube's weird like that even when my business when I upload something to YouTube um sometimes it just doesn't it just doesn't upload and you got to redo the whole entire thing but I didn't plan on spending like two more hours doing it maybe at some point in time when I uh when I feel like doing it like I said I got lots of time to do stuff but things like that once you did something once and it doesn't work you're like oh my god do i really want to go and do that again um but eventually at some point in time i'll probably end up doing it right um probably maybe when i get my mids in and then i go get everything like tuned again and then maybe I'll, that because then i'll actually show the tune that chris does um when everything's like complete so it's a little bit better if you do the you know the uh the dsp video when you have like your whole three-way and you can show all your different settings uh so i'll probably wait until i do it then um, unfortunately that's probably going to be near the end of August though. Uh, cause then we'll have like a month probably depends unless I go somewhere else. But, um, right now it's probably scheduled to around like, uh, the end of August. I have to actually phone Chris and see if he's even got anything available then. Cause they get booked up pretty quick at uh, mobile solutions there. So anyways, uh, you guys have a great, uh, what is it? Friday today. Have a great weekend. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.